Hey everyone, we're out here in the shop today building buzz baits, and we're going to share another tip with you about tackle um, from Lure Parts Online. Um, as you can see, this is our Pro Planer buzz bait head, um, basically your standard style buzz bait head. Um, but there's something about this buzz bait that I'm going to share with you here in a little bit um, that makes it makes it unique. A um, couple things first off is everything that I got here on this buzz bait comes from Lure Parts Online. Like I said, this is our Pro Planer head. You can get the little uh, aluminum balls that go in front of your blade. You can get your rivet. You can get your you can get your blade. Everything you want to build a buzz bait. For those of you that haven't built a buzz bait, it's very very simple to build one. Um, and once it's all said and done, you got about two dollars and fifty cents wrapped up in a buzz bait. Good quality product um, at that price you want. Like I said, lure parts online. Um, you can get exactly what you want. So you can hear this buzz bait. Like I said, I've been throwing this buzz bait for a long time. This buzz bait has a really good squeak to it, okay? And I've not done anything fancy to this buzz bait. I haven't scuffed the blades up or haven't done anything to it. All I've done is put it together um, and you can hear how good that sounds. One of the little tips I'm gonna give you is when you build that or try to build you a buzz bait, make sure you crimp that rivet. That's gonna help you get that squeak you want. And the more you use this bait, the louder and louder it's gonna get, okay? The other thing I like about this buzz bait, as you can see, it's got a drop down okay in the in the wire a lot of buzz baits have a straight wire in them um, and those are good as well but i like one that has the little drop down in it okay to me when a bass feeds he feeds by sucking in water okay and if that buzz baits way up on top of the surface when he comes up there he's going to suck a lot of air so simply by having that little drop down in it he's going to suck more water than air and give you a better hookup um, and that's why i like that buzz bait so much you know it's hot out um, and, and everybody thinks that when it gets hot out in the summertime, then fish go deep. But when it gets hot out and it's nasty and you're sweating and it's humid, to me, that's when a buzz bait excels the best. Get up there in shallow water, throw this around the grass, throw it around the wood. Like I said, when it gets hot and humid out, buzz bait for me is there, there's no better way to catch them, okay? The big thing right now with buzz bait fishing is taking a buzz bait and putting a plastic trailer on here. You know, most buzz baits have a skirt on them and things like that. The big thing now is taking your buzz bait leaving the skirt off and incorporating some kind of plastic trailer into it, whether it be a horny toad or a, um, a swim bait or something like that, but getting rid of that skirt and adding a piece of soft plastic to it. And here's what's so cool about this buzz bait. Um, you know, I don't think this buzz bait was ever designed for this application, but as you can see here, it's got its regular standard keeper on it and it's got this little hump in the head, okay? And what that does is, is when you slide your plastic trailer on here, Remember to try to get it as straight as possible. When you slide it up on here, it's gonna go over the first keeper, and then you're gonna force it up onto that second keeper. What that's gonna allow you to do is you don't have to worry about that trailer sliding down. It's gonna allow you to skip that bait up under the docks, up under the bushes. Um, you know, you, you might have never ever skipped a buzz bait before. Um, and to me, the only way you're ever gonna skip a buzz bait is to put time, some type of plastic trailer on there and you definitely need a good head to hold that trailer on. So check out the Pro Planer Buzz Bait from Lure Parts Online.